Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. It's TOT time, we're doing Wesley's tank. Hey Wesley, you wanna show him your tank? Whoa! He's fast. Now I did try to get Wesley to tell you guys about the tank, but he was being a bit of a shy guy. But he did at least make a cameo in the end, and well running around, you guys will see. All right, so here we are. We are in the upper section of the house. This is actually a quarantine section, which, you know, quarantine tanks are nothing but new tanks. And Wesley, you got this tank two years ago for his birthday. And it's been set up non-filter, no filter, as you can see. Nothing, no airlines, no filters. Planted. Used Eco Complete and sand for the substrate. It's a 40 gallon braider. It's got Parva rainbow fish in it right now. You can see it just goes way back there. As far as the depth, got lots and lots and lots of depth. The plants, I believe this crypt is some kind of tiger, orange tiger kind of crypt. I got a long time ago from Secret History living in your aquarium. There's also Bacopa, Carolina over here. Then we got Brazilian pennywort up on the top. And we've got lots and lots of Rotala, Colorado, that real pretty plant with the pink and the oranges here on top. But this thing, man, it's just been growing like crazy. And uh, we don't really do much for it, so no filter. We do got one goofy fish in here in the bunch. Hey, you're gonna scare the fish, buddy. Hmm. Well, we do got one goofy fish here in the bunch, which we let him hang out because he's still living his best life. So he hangs out with the crowd. This probably has some deformity from when he bred out. As far as the lighting, it is a shop light. It's a Sunco 6500K, 4000 lumens. We've got Anubius in it. And if you can see here, on the bottom, you see how the Brazilian pennywort roots and whatnot has broken down over time. A lot of it has algified, but it's kind of created this like natural sort of carpet. You see where it goes in, blends in, blends in. Then there's the regular substrate, the eco complete, the natural substrate, which is kind of neat to see like that. Right? He really likes to show off his speed. And a piece of driftwood in there. Yeah, his tank's doing good. Water clarity's nice. No filter, no nothing. Nothing too fancy, but lots of pretty fish. He loves his red rainbow fish. Now these rainbow fish are Melanotania parva. It's a nice red, orangish coloration to an aquarium. And the males are the ones that really are showing off the colors here. Here's an alpha and the one competing for alpha really going at it. And sometimes you guys will see on rainbow fish where they get that white mouth or maybe white marks on them. This is what's causing that white and what's causing what some of us may think to be fungus. But they'll spar like this all day. Really neat fish to watch. Um, especially with all their behaviors. And as far as the water change routine, the reason why you have a lot of that buildup on the bottom there is we didn't change the water for quite some time, maybe almost eight months or so. But now that we do have a new water system, we have been able to do quick, easy water changes. And we did a couple in the last month or two. This really made it look pretty nice. Water changes are really the filtration. This is pretty wild too. This Bacopa Carolina, look at this growing all the way up and out. Thick, super thick. Hurry, stuff actually kind of smells minty. Really weird when it grows up out of that. It's got like a minty smell. Let's see more. And here you can see a bunch of Brazilian penny wart flowers all over the place. You got some dry leaves here. They break down, that all becomes part of that mush down there. Man, I gotta get used to operating this camera. There you have it, a quick update on Wesley's fish tank.
All right, so there you have it. Till next time, everybody. Peace. Have a great one.